So the UK apparently has a near $5 billion Bitcoin stash. And the new Labour Chancellor, or should I say the new Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, is apparently considering spending, or should I say dumping that Bitcoin on the market that has been seized to fund an economic plan. Now, I'd rather do that than, you know, uh, raise the crypto tax or the capital gains tax. But this is an interesting thing where um, they basically can seize your crypto and then spend it. According to crypto intelligence platform Arkham, the UK government holds approximately 61,245 Bitcoin. And the recently appointed UK Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, has likely the discretion to allocate the funds, most of which has been seized as part of a money laundering case. Now, the King's Speech, so if you don't run in the UK, every time there's a new government, the King, or it was the Queen, RIP, um, they do like a, a speech and they, they, it's just a pre-written speech which is given to them by the government at the time. Outline what they're going to do in this particular, you know, five years of government. Now, King Charles said the new Labour government would, fit, would focus on economic stability and growth, but did not mention crypto, did not mention Bitcoin, did not mention digital assets. Addressing the members of the UK Parliament, he read a speech written by the government as they prepared to introduce new laws and policy objectives. The UK government's priorities included securing economic growth, wealth creation and improving the nation's infrastructure and housing. The 15-minute speech did not specifically address the regulation of crypto, blockchain or even mentioned it. However, it did say that lawmakers would encourage investment in industry skills and new technologies and introduce, there we go, introduce legislation to regulate. Now, if you didn't know, in the last speech, so when uh, the Conservatives got in last time, which was 2019, Boris Johnson was the Prime Minister, um, they did actually mention crypto regulation and we've seen that you know, I've spoken about it before. The 10 stupid questions you answer when you uh, sign up and do your KYC, know your customer on a new exchange. You've got uh, the FCA clamping down on exchanges and making sure that they are FCA compliant, i.e. they send the data of all their clients to HMRC. And... That will definitely include anyone that cashes out a high amount of money. So I can guarantee, I mean not guarantee, but I can definitely say that going forward, if you were to make any sum of money that they deem significant, um, put it this way, Coinbase will probably have to report anyone cashing out over 10k to HMRC. And then what they'll probably do is they've obviously got your details of Coinbase. Let's just say Coinbase for an example. They've got your details of Coinbase. And what they will do is they will match up, say, the national insurance number with the one they've got on file and then see if you have filed a capital gains report for that tax year. If they see you've got that 10K cashed out and you've not declared anything, they'll send you a letter. On that letter, it'll say... Something along the lines of, if you have made a profit, i.e., you know, over 3k, you need to report it. And then it's up to you if you do report it or you don't. But I can see that's that's something that will happen. But it does make me laugh that the UK wants to be a crypto hub and it wants to be uh, friendly, crypto friendly, but it's, you know, any, anything but. You've got... <laughs> The UK wanting to just, you know, seize Bitcoin. and Well, not seize Bitcoin, but they, they're basically selling all the crypto that they've seized. And 
going back to what I just said then with Coinbase, etc., they may freeze your account, they may do anything with it, they may seize it, and then they'll probably sell it. I can see it coming to that. That's just my own opinion, but we'll see. In April 2022, the UK government announced ambitious plans to position the country as the leading crypto hub, aiming to leverage the transformative potential of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. However, it is th over three years later now, and there is basically nothing. I There's nothing I know of anywhere. I mean, there may be some kind of legislation somewhere. There may be some kind of event that they've put on or statement that they have made, but I cannot see anything that they have done to actually make the UK a crypto, a leading crypto hub. All they have done is try and regulate things more by making it harder for you to buy, sell, swap, or actually do anything in crypto. The capital gains tax, which crypto is... Uh, it runs in parallel with, so it's a part of that. Um, the capital gains tax, they have reduced. So it used to be a lot higher. Now it's 3K. Anything over 3K, you have to report. And then you have to pay either 10% or 20%, depending on the level of taxpayer that you are. So there's not really anything that I can see that is crypto-friendly in the UK at this moment. Obviously, there are places that are worse in the world. Don't get me wrong, the US probably. Um, it is better in some ways, worse in others, but there is a high tax. But genuinely, if you look at places like Dubai, with 0% tax, you don't have to worry about anything. You obviously have to register on an exchange and buy it on a approved exchange in the UAE, I think. But ultimately, whatever you make is your money. So if you made, if you lit in Dubai, if you literally bought a meme coin, and I'm not saying do this, if you bought a meme coin and it did 20x and you put 5k in it and it got to 100k, then that's your money. That's it, simple. No reporting, no legislation, no nothing. That is your money. However, if you did that in the UK, by you cashing that out, you're automatically going to be a higher taxpayer. So you're going to be paying 20% on that. So 20 grand straight to the tax man for the reason of absolutely nothing. <laughs> the UK government that already, uh, the UK government that basically tax you on everything, buying a house, living in your house, Powering your house with energy, drinking your fucking water. I mean, no, man, they don't, they don't, sorry. Sorry for my swearing. They don't tax you on drinking water. Um, They probably do, actually. I'm not sure. I'm not actually sure. Now I'm, now I'm thinking about it. But they charge you for water, for drinking water. They tax you for taking your, your, your rubbish bins out. They tax you for spending money, VAT. Um, and they're probably going to tax you for breathing air outside soon, climate tax. That's probably going to come in. So why they need to tax you for making money in crypto, I don't know. And why they're still in, the government is still in debt, but that's, that's another, another you know, video itself. I'm still waiting evidence for the UK to announce anything about the capital gains tax and if it's going to change in this time i think personally they're still mulling over what to do because you've got what i've just announced with the uh, the the money that they've seized sorry the bitcoin that they've seized are they going to sell it to fund stuff are they going to raise capital gains to fund economic plans we'll see but all i can say is knowing the government uh no matter how much money they raise no matter how much money they spend, it's still not going to be good infrastructure. Don't get me wrong, the UK has got good infrastructure, but the government is absolutely useless. And people may ask, uh, why don't you live abroad in Dubai? Uh, don't get me wrong, the English weather is terrible. 
and I do plan on spending more time abroad, especially um, moving forward with, you know, how the channel grows and crypto, etc. definitely. But, you know, it is where I live. Um, I do have uh, a family here, a lot of friends, and, you know, I do, I do like the English countryside. I do like a lot of things about the UK, but there's pros and cons, I suppose, of wherever you live. And for me, obviously the biggest, and I know a lot of people watching this, the biggest con of living here is the nine to five lifestyle of, you know, driving into an office, sat there all day, coming home at five o'clock, exhausted. In winter, it's dark, it's miserable, it's horrible. But through your crypto, through a side hustle, uh, that is what we're all looking to do, is to leave the matrix, leave the nine to five, plan your day as you want it, spend more time with family, uh, you know, going to the gym, work wherever you want, etc, uh, etc. Et but that's it for me today. I will be doing more videos, of course, on what is happening in the UK crypto scene. It is something I'm passionate about and um, something that I hope does change for the better because it's not terrible, but it could be a lot better a lot better and if they were to you know make it a crypto hub by making it more crypto friendly and having its own crypto tax i.e a flat rate um or or putting up how much gains you can have for me just doing a flat rate of five percent would be an improvement but you know or a flat rate of ten percent would be a start but we'll see that's me today anyway cheers for watching and if you do like my content subscribe like the video and i'll see you all very soon